For this lesson, we're going to look at file handling. This is when we're writing or reading from text files normally. So, in this question, we've got why do we use text file? What's the point? Now, the main advantages of using text files is that we can access them again and again, even after you close the program or when you turn your computer off. They're permanent type of storage. So they're saved on the hard disk drive or SSD, and then you can access them later on. And then we can also reuse them for other programs, or you can check the data inside them as well, or reuse them after you reopen the program or reopen your computer. Now, here is an example of a code with writing to text file. So the first thing is that you need to create a variable or sometimes called file handler. Then you need to put open after that. So equals open. Now open will either open a file or create one for you if you don't have one already created. So generally when we write a file, it will create one for you. Then we've got test1.text. Now this is the file name. This is So it will create a file called test1.text. Then we put a comma and then quotation mark and W. Now W stands for write. If you're trying to read from a file, you put R. If you're trying to append to a file, you put A. But this time we're writing to file. So write starts with W. Then you need to put file.write to write something to the file. Now in this case, we're writing welcome. Then I've put slash N. Now the slash N will move it to the next line in the text file. Then I'm writing file.write and then my friend. So it will write my friend on the next line rather than all on the same line. Then file.close will close the file and save it as well. Now if you don't do that, then if you don't add the file.close then it will not work. It will not save. It will create the file for you but it will be empty. There will be nothing there. You need to close the file for you to be able to save it. So here is an example, another one. We've got a file open. So we're, we're creating a text file called names.txt. So as you can see there, we've created a text file called names.txt. And I've asked the user for a name, and I've written that name to the text file. So if the user type Tom, this is what will happen. You can see Tom inside that specific text file. Here is another one. So when we're asked, so I've created a file called numbers and opened it in write mode. Then I've asked the user for a number. Now I've set the variable to an integer. Now when we're writing to text file, you cannot write integers into a text file. You have to cast them into a string. So to do that, you just put str in there. This will cast them into a string. And it will allow you to write that these numbers to the text file. Um, here is the final one. So we've got files equals open names.txt again. So we've got a question called names.txt. Uh, well, we've got a file called names.txt. Then I've put W, so I've opened it in read, uh, write mode. Then I've used the for loop that loops four times. Now, this will repeat four times and it will ask for the names four times. Now, after it asks for a name, it will write the name inside the text file then it will move to a new line. So I put plus slash n. Slash n is is a new line, which is a string, so it needs to be put in the quotation mark. So you put the variable name, which is name, then slash n. This will move it to a new line. And then you close and save the file. So file.close. Now I'll show you an example now in Python. So firstly, I'm going to create a file handler or variable called file, and I'm going to open it or create it. I'm going to call it um, uh, hello.txt. So that will be my file name. Then I put comma and I want to open it in write mode. Then I'm going to file.write. So write to the file. Um, I'm going to write what's up. And then I'm going to add slash n. This will move it to a new line. Then I'll write welcome. Welcome back. Now, this will write all that to the file, but I want to close it as well to save it. So file.close and then you open the bracket and close it. Well, the parentheses and close it. This is the close function, which will close the file and save it. Now, when I run it, nothing will happen. But 
I'll close that, I'll go to my folder, and I'll see that it has created something for me. It's called hello.txt, and it's got what's up and welcome bob on two separate lines. Now, it will always add the text file to the same folder that your Python file is in. So you need to make sure you're in the right folder.